And now we turn to the next step of the impeachment process. Stephanie, we have an impeachment in the House, and now we go to a Senate trial. The zeitgeist this morning is the Democrats would like to be part of the discussion in the Senate, just as they wanted to be in the House. Is the Senate different from the House? Do the Republicans and the Democrats have to play together? Well, traditionally, if you look at the way, for instance, uh, Bill Clinton's impeachment trial was handled, um, the Democrats did work with uh, the Republicans in an effort to present a trial that uh, the public could view as fair. Um, and so, you know, what we've seen over the weekend is Chuck Schumer coming out and proposing a way forward um, and, you know, uh, you know, in an effort to work with the Republicans. And what, re what remains to be seen is how that offer will be responded to. Um, Mitch McConnell, uh, the, the Senate Republican leader, um, has said he wants the trial to go quickly. Um, they don't want these star witnesses. Um, and I think the Democrats want this to be treated as a serious uh, trial that, you know, where the public can view the facts and the evidence and make up their own minds. Well, is it a trial? I mean, this is a key point, and folks, this has just come into the radar as, as we looked at the House, the House, the House, the House. Do we have any understanding of what a trial is, or is this quoted in the New York Times today, the contours of a trial? Do we know? Well, I think it really depends on how Mitch McConnell decides to handle it. Does he actually allow the airing of evidence? Do they go ahead with what Chuck Schumer has proposed, which is uh, issuing subpoenas for John Bolton, calling uh, you know, the former national security advisor, calling Mick Mulvaney, Trump's chief of staff, both of whom uh, did not testify in the House hearings. Um, you know, one of the articles of impeachment is uh, on uh, you know, accusing Trump of obstructing justice. So hearing from those witnesses are key. Now, on the other hand, the Republicans want to hear from their own, uh, or rather Trump wants to hear from uh, you know, what he views as star witnesses, um, Hunter Biden, as well as the whistleblower. So how they work out this, um, you know, remains to be seen and, you know, how long it goes. If it's a quick trial and it's wrapped up very quickly, I think you can question, is it really a trial? How is this playing out with U.S. citizens? Do they care? Or are they engaged with the process? You know, it looks like the, the opinion polls haven't budged on this. About half of Americans approve a, a, of impeachment. You know, the hearings in the House didn't really change things mm. that much. Um, and, you know, it's unclear whether or not uh, a trial in the Senate that's extended, where it, witnesses are called and, and evidence is aired, whether or not that would change things. It looks like the American public has made up their mind on this. Okay. D does it, you know, make an impact if we have this truce between the U.S. and China? Does that impact, you know, shoppers? Is, is that kind of, you know, what influences polls or something else? I, you know, this is the other thing is everyone's so distracted by the holidays at this point. Um, you know, I think, I, I no, I think, you know, Come January, obviously, minds will focus. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think the Republicans want this over quickly. Um, Trump wants it extended so that it eats into the February primaries for the Democratic field. Um, you know, and so it looks to me like they'll push forward with a quick yeah. trial.